Hello and welcome to Climbing Daily. The BMC recently released Pete Whitaker's film showing him rope soloing El Cap in Yosemite in under 24 hours. This amazing achievement meant we had to catch up with him for an interview. I am Pete Whitaker. I am a climber and I like to climb rocks. <laughs> So rope soloing is essentially a form of climbing but doing it by yourself um, and it's obviously like very different to climb with a partner because you have to you have to do everything and everything is controlled by you and um, so essentially the basics of it um, in a technical in a technical way are you fix the rope at the, the base of the route or at the anchor and then the rope comes from there statically up to a solo device you can use there's loads of different solo devices you can use and then from the solo device um, the rope comes back out of that and that's like your your spare rope um, and that goes down to the floor if you're setting off from the floor or, or stacked in a bag a rucksack at the belay if you're on a multi-pitch route and then as you start climbing the rope from the bag uh, feeds up and feeds through the device giving you slack rope to essentially climb with and then you place gear like normal clipping the rope in when you get to the top um, obviously you have loads of gear in the pitch the rope is fixed at the bottom so you have to then fix your rope at the anchor at the next anchor abseil back down un unclip the rope um, collect your rucksack collect your belongings and then because you're at the bottom of the pitch you then have to jumar back up the pitch so it's like uh, covering the ground three times, essentially. So up, down, up. I'd freed um, El Cap four times via four different routes. Or, well, you no know, more than four times, like five times via four different routes. So I'd done free rider twice and then three different routes. So I had like an idea of what free climbing was like on El Cap. So I'm just back down at the bottom of the slabs. I guess it's about Quarter to five, maybe. The day I started climbing, I decided to set off at three in the afternoon. Um, and I decided to set off at three in the afternoon because I wanted to miss the hottest part of the day, which was about 12 till three. So I set off at three, climbed for three hours of light, um, and then climbed all the way through the night in the dark. Obviously, climbing in the dark is like a little bit like strange. It's good and bad, you know, it's good because you don't see the exposure. So that's nice. <laughs> And, and also, like, you, you can't see the top of El Cap, so, you, you, you know, you're only just focused on what you're doing at the time. You're not, like, distracted by, like, oh, my God, I've got to go all the way up there. Um, so that's quite nice, in a way. Um, and then after, like, however long, 12, 13 hours, it, it came light. Um, and then I finished, yeah, I finished in the light, which is kind of nice as well, because, it give, like, when it comes light, it gives you, like, a revitalized sort of energy as such. Um, so you kind of, even though you're really tired, it's like, ah, oh, you know, thank God it's getting light or whatever. Um, you can see what you're doing a bit better. Uh, and the top looks significantly closer to when it went dark. <laughs> so that's always a bonus. <laughs> Basically, I knew it was going to be really hard because the week before, I'd climbed it um, with a friend um, in a day to see what it felt like. So me and another uh, climbing friend climbed the whole climbed the whole route free in a day. Um, and that was, you know, that was quite tiring. Uh, so I knew, like when I set off, I was like, yeah, this is gonna be quite hard. <laughs> I knew I was gonna like feel pretty beefed at the top. Yeah, yeah. Free Rider, it's an absolute classic route. Great free climbing, follows a really obvious crack system and corner system. It's like the easiest freeway up El Cap. Free climbing El Cap is one of the hardest things that most trad climbers or sport climbers will ever do in their lives. The main thing that um, appeals to me about rope soling and the reason why I went and did this challenge in the first place was um, after I'd done these other free climbs in Yosemite, I sort of, when I got to the top, they, they're all really hard and it's like going on a big wall and, and making it to the top, you always feel knackered when you get to the top, but I've still felt like I had more to give to the process of big walling, which is why I decided to try and climb something by myself, because you essentially have to do all the work. Um, and I just thought it'd be harder and more of a challenge. Um, 
yeah, so after that, like, that fourth route that I did, that I freed an old cap, I thought, well, I could, I could just try and climb the harder route, you know, with harder free climbing, or I could just try something completely new. And then I thought, yeah, I'll go and climb. I'll just try and climb the old cap by myself. And that was where the idea came from. I think when I watch the videos of me taking like little self videos, especially the ones um, on the little training trip I did to Squamish, you watch them back and you're like, God, I really was like going a little bit mad. <laughs> Even though I was just like doing little day trips by myself, because it was only like single day trips. Um, but yeah, you, you, you end up realizing you're just like jabbering away to the camera and you don't realize it at the time. It's only when like when you watch them back, like, a few weeks later or a month later when you've got home and everything's back to normal, you're like, yeah, I was going a little bit, I was going a little bit insane, I think, or something. <laughs> I filmed a lot of the um, footage on GoPro, so I had one on my helmet and uh, I had like a, a second GoPro to film like myself as I was going up the route. And especially, it's fine at the beginning of the route when you're not tired, you're all like, yeah, hey, let's get the camera out, let's talk to the camera, let's switch the camera on, whatever. But when you get to the when you get to the top of the room, you're getting tired and you're mentally tired as well. And you're trying to, you know, keep yourself safe, remember to clip in here, remember to do this, that and the other. It's really like hard work to be like, oh, got to open the top of the rucksack and get the camera out. I really can't be bothered. Um, and it's just like another element to add to it, sort of documenting it as well as doing this whole challenge. Because again, you're like documenting it by yourself. I'm quite keen to do some other stuff, I think. Yeah, I'm quite keen to do some other rope soloing. I haven't really decided what yet. Um, I think, yeah, I just found it like a good challenge to, to do these things by yourself. Um, it's like, I think it's just like a different, a different style of challenge, you know, to doing it with a partner. They each have their like difficulties and, and um, yeah, like climb by yourself is just, yeah, a, a, a separate and different kind of challenge. I'm keen to sort of, yeah, explore it a little bit more. Cheers, Pete. If you guys want to watch the full film, there's a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.